Hi. Today I'd like to talk to you about a drink called High C. This is a drink that I have been drinking for years now. It's actually one of my favorite drinks, or at least it was. And I'd like to tell you why I can't drink High C anymore. High C it was, it was a great drink. It wasn't too sweet, right? Uh, it had a pretty good flavor to it. Uh, it has some vitamin C in it. For me, it was kind of like an ideal drink. I drank it every morning, to be honest with you. Even though they package it in this goofy cardboard box, they don't put it in bottles anymore. But despite that, I drank this stuff for years. So High C, actually the company that makes it is called Minute Maid. They decided to change the formula. So if you look closely on your grocer shelf now, you will see this great thing on the packaging that says 50% less sugar. Less sugar. Yay, less sugar, fewer calories, right? So people are gonna be really happy to see that and they're all gonna run out and buy this high C, except for me, of course. You see, whenever you see less sugar, especially on a drink like this, it means they've added something else. They didn't just uh, happily decrease the amount of sugar so that you can be more healthy, right? No, they didn't do that. You have to look and see what did they add? What horrible artificial sweetener did they add to your drink? And in this case, it's something called sucralose. Sucralose. Let me tell you about sucralose. Let me tell you all the benefits of sucralose. So the first benefit of them putting sucralose in here is that it makes it taste that sickly sweet, you know that sweet flavor that you get with artificial sweeteners? Yeah, it doesn't taste the same anymore. It has that sickly sweet flavor to it, right? Uh, you know, one of the things that they'll tell you is that they were trying to lower the amount of high fructose corn syrup because supposedly that stuff is, is bad for you. It's not, it's sugar, but the craze right now is no high fructose corn syrup. So they actually left that in here, but they lowered it. So now you're getting the high fructose corn syrup and you're also getting sucralose. Let me tell you what happens to me when I consume sucralose, okay? And this has happened to me. They're putting sucralose in everything now, okay? In a lot of the drinks, you gotta look. You're gonna see it. What happens is when I drink it, my joints start to ache. I start getting horrible feelings of my joints, my hands. It's like, gee, all of a sudden I have uh, crippling arthritis, right? Oh my God, this arthritis, where did this come from? And what am I gonna do about this arthritis? Like, you know, I honestly felt like I had a serious problem that I had to do. And all of a sudden, I realized that it was the sucralose. So I stopped drinking the stuff that I was drinking. And guess what? A couple of days later, all of that aching in the joints, all of that pain throughout the body, body aching, every joint was aching, gone, gone. I mean, lifted without the sucralose. Now there's another fun thing that sucralose does and it is anxiety. It causes, you know, feelings of anxiety. You can have panic attacks, restlessness, sleeplessness. I'm not saying it's gonna to happen to everybody, but I'm saying that I, I won't consume anything with sucralose in it. I will not. And I won't be drinking high C anymore. I'm gonna to have to find something else to drink, anything. I don't care if it's water, but I'm not putting this stuff in my mouth anymore. But go ahead and try it for yourself if you'd like.
Maybe you'll have uh, better luck with it than I did.